Have you met an amazing guy, been on a few dates, or maybe you've been dating for a few months and you're now in that awkward in-between stage wondering, is this man going to commit to me or going to keep me hanging? I've been there before and I know firsthand this is one of the most confusing places to be, particularly if you've been single for a while dated a few men who you thought wasted your time or maybe you haven't had kids and want them so instead of taking your time getting to know this man the clock is ticking and when the clock is ticking guess what happens you often become stressed out anxious and even desperate because you just want to know if this guy is going to be your guy and you desperately want to know how he feels about you or maybe you've had a casual kind of relationship for some time and you realize that deep down you want more. You no longer just want to hang out with this man when he's got nothing else to do. You want the real deal, 100% commitment. If this sounds anything like you, then you're watching the right video as I'm going to share a few vital do's and don'ts to follow in this tricky stage that will either make or break the situation to drastically improve your chance of getting his commitment. Hi, I'm Nadine Peart, a dating, confidence and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy love. And when it comes to getting his commitment, if there's anything you'd like to share, please comment below. So let's get into it. The first thing you must know is that you cannot force anyone to do anything, which means what I'm about to share are commitment strategies based on authentic compatibility and core attraction. There will be no manipulation, ultimatums, game playing or black magic shared. These tips are about using healthy psychological strategies that will encourage him to want to be exclusive with you without you accidentally pushing him away or pretending to be someone you're not. This is what you need to know for a long-term yummy kind of connection. The first tip I'm going to give you is the most attractive thing you can do at any time with any man ever. And it will definitely help you to get the guy. This tip might sound simple and is also something so many women forget because when a woman starts to get attached or feels like they're falling in love, expectations tend to skyrocket and insecurities can play into every single thing they do and say. Which brings me to my first point, know your worth. You are a high value woman. Stay true to your core values. This is what it means to be a high value woman. Never lower your standards or overlook your values just to get someone to like you. It's not sustainable in the long term. What men want, the best kinds of men, is a woman who respects herself and knows what she stands for. Instead of trying to act like the perfect girlfriend or be someone you're not, Get clear about your non-negotiables in a romantic relationship. A woman with realistic and healthy standards does not seek commitment from a man who does not honor her standards, which leads to number two, is he worth the investment? Say that you're clear on what you value in your life and love, perhaps on your list of core values is kindness, people of their word, of honor, a healthy mind and body, open communication and adventure. If you value a man of his word and you're dating a man who's lied to you a number of times, then why are you investing your heart and soul into a man whose behavior goes against your core values? If he's unkind to you, always breaks his promises, then why are you so invested in this when you value people of their word? If he's told you that he doesn't want anything serious right now and yet you want him to be the one, then you're giving your attention to the wrong man. Or you've met a man who makes you laugh and you enjoy spending time with him, but you realize that he's an alcoholic, which goes against your core value of healthy mind and body. I'm not sharing this to be pessimistic or to strive for perfection. What I'm sharing is how easy it is to override our values and seek commitment from a man whose lifestyle and actions are misaligned with our core relationship values. A woman who values herself and lives by her values will see that these kind of behaviors or traits are not the ingredients for an effective and united 
relationship. This is why on your path to attract the commitment you want, it's imperative you ask yourself, is he worth it? Know that I'm not questioning his worth as a human. We are all equally valuable. What I'm asking here is if he is showing the signs that what he has to offer is in alignment with what you value and therefore worth exploring further. Is it a crush or is it more? Infatuation is a powerful emotion and it can really cloud the mind and see you needy rather than empowered and honoring what you hold dear. Allow yourself to consider that he might not be the one. I want you to attract great guys and you can't attract great guys when you're not clear of what you value. To summarize the first two points, to get the loving commitment you want, it's vital you know with every cell of your body that you deserve a mindful and devoted partner. Know that you are 100% worthy of the love you want. Write this on a piece of paper and stick it to your bedside table, on your phone, on your steering wheel. Actually, stick this everywhere. It's that important. Now we've got that covered, let's say you've established that the man you're dating is kind, a man of his word, willing to work on being the best he can be and has told you that he too is looking for a relationship, then the following information is going to be of great value to you and will help you to get him to commit. Also, to help you with this, I have a fabulous free gift called five easy ways to get a man to commit that shares with you in detail very specific ways to get the attention from the right kinds of men. The link is below in the description. The next point is number three, stop strategizing your every move. For example, playing hard to get is boring. Playing hard to get does not work with the kinds of men who are ready for commitment. So many women have misunderstood the oldest piece of dating advice in the book and are using it all wrong. Here is the real secret to get him to commit. I never again want you to pretend to be busy or strategically post fake or forced content on social media. If you are unavailable to him, it should be because you are authentically enjoying your life without him. Yes, you'd like to spend time with him when you are together, but he should never become the center of your universe and particularly when you don't know him. Daily, you need to be working on building an amazing life for yourself or maintaining one because this is what a man wants in a woman and will keep him interested forever. He wants your devotion and he also wants you to devote to yourself. This is a powerful dance and a huge part of deep attraction because it creates a natural kind of seduction. In a nutshell, prioritize yourself, your plans and your life and try not to drop everything just to spend time with him. Sure, there are times when you're both super busy and changing a plan to see him so that you can build some dating momentum is acceptable and he's willing to do this too. But this is the exception, not the rule. If you do cancel your plans for him most of the time, a man will typically start to make less of an effort with you, start taking you for granted and believe that you're insecure and that the only interest in your life is him, which creates pressure, kills a mystery and is a big turn off for everyone. Think of him as the cherry on top of the cake, the cake being your awesome life that is filled with your interests. In my program, Unlock His Heart, I have a whole section about how to match a man rather than leading and turning into a doormat. So the next critical part of attraction that leads to commitment is number four, focus on fun. We all wanna spend time, more time with people we can have fun with, it's pretty simple. And to do that, we need to end the fretting to have that fun. In fact, there is some fabulous research done by relationship researcher, John Gottman, that reveals the magic ratio is five to one, which means that for every one negative feeling or interaction between partners, there must be five positive feelings or interactions. Happy and stable couples share more positive feelings and actions than negative ones. So when you're feeling desperate, maybe fearful of getting hurt, guess what happens? You tend to lose your natural sparkle, which sees you acting less playful and more serious, which of course decreases attraction and the 
probability of a man committing to you. When you're so focused on what you want or even don't want, you're not present and in the moment. You can't be creating joyful and bonding moments with a man when you're heavily judging everything he says and does and everything you say and do. If I was dating a guy who seemed anxious and heavy in his energy or often asked me if I see a future with him and is rarely able to get silly with me, guess what happens? I start to feel pressure and I no longer want to spend as much time with this person. But if I'm dating a man who's fun loving and lighthearted, he's then a breath of fresh air and is adding to the joy in my life, not zapping it. Now that's the kind of man I want to spend time with. This is why it's so important to be mindful of your expectations and create fun times with this new man or someone you've been seeing for a while. If you want to supercharge your relationship to the next level, check out my program Unlock His Heart where I have a powerful and love changing exercise called the fear clash that breaks down your fear based expectations and how to dissolve your fears. You see often your fears will trigger his fears, hence why this exercise is critical if you want to get a man to commit. The link is in the description below. Well that's it for today, please comment below and let me know which tip has most helped you to get him to commit and feel free to share it. It might be the very video that your friends need to see to lead them to a healthy and loving relationship. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also if you haven't yet or you're new, please do subscribe to this channel as this will allow me to keep creating these videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and the bell button to get notified of our new videos every week. It's been a pleasure to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to show love a little more every day in some special way and see you again at my next video.